Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel video. Today my dear friends we will take a training course on LNG and I really like to tell you that this is the first time I'm doing such training for LNG uh, carriers. First of all, okay, we will enter some, some information, we will put Adventure Story And let's put let's put marine marine engineer and trading ID one 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 okay for one login so we have this selection we'll have selection for master for chief officer for junior officer for electrician for chief engineer for second engineer cargo engineer and junior engineer okay we have a lot of uh, selections here I will select for second engineer but if you like we will pass also uh, the other training courses for other uh, positions so I will press the second engineer so here we have uh, some overview and introduction so in this course uh, course is uh, attended to provide the knowledge required by officers servicing on LNG tankers in accordance with standard development by uh, SIG TTO uh, it aims are to ensure that the user can achieve the competence required in the rank uh, of the task on board according to the rank the program will also provide a record uh, of the training that has been completed. The course is designed for individual self-study and is the best use while at sea, although it can be used ashore. Before servicing on LG tanker, candidates should have complete a recognized first stage tanker familiarization course. As you can see, they must have a familiarization from the tanker. There is basic uh, tanker certificate and a advance which you take uh, in maritime uh, learning schools uh, in your country. In my country it's called Kesen. There we take all this kind of... Uh, this is like called the center of uh, uh, familiarization for the Siemens such kind of uh, training uh, system we have here which is located in Athens or everybody uh, attend there and also I have met some of subscribers there uh, so before servicing as we can see here they must have tanker familiarization course such as the video tell tanker familiarization distance learning course so login training progress and record keeping is organized by each username and unique id number as you can see these kind of courses you can pass on board the vessel and for sure your company have a uh, such kind of program for uh, always the person to will be uh, remind for the rules for the regulations and for the action that must be taken uh, on board so I will proceed here there is a course contents what we will see there is six modules and tests uh, after that a reference section a glossary and personal record book so the first module will talk about fundamental knowledge and understanding the second is about equipment the third support systems for standard operations five standard and emergency operations six commercial considerations the modules are divided into sections and most of the sections are further divided into units according to the rank selected you will be shown the units that you need to study as you complete them they will be marked off in your record book so that you can keep track of your progress you can study the modules and the units in any order but we would recommend you move through them in sequence there is also a glossary which can access at any time this is really really helpful as we 
uh, as well as seeing the units listed in sequence you can also see them grouped according to the tasks you are required to undertake for example second engineer needs to be able to operate electrical plant and control system this requires knowledge on and understanding what you must know type and safety operation of electrical machinery and control system typical parameters and limitations and how they will affect operations uh, b what constitutes a fall condition and the importance of informing the appropriate person uh, the same will be also uh, similar to the tanker vessels okay nothing uh, change maintenance and testing requirements permit to work installation procedures and requirements so underpinning knowledge knowledge statement there is uh, some sections here as you complete units they will be marked off in the display as well so we are on the test section at the end of each unit you will take a test this will signify that the unit has been complete and you will confirm your knowledge of the material within the unit your score will be displayed on the screen if you wish to keep a printed record of your test uh, score for a particular unit print the test completion certificate before existing the, uh, exiting the test you can also review the question which you will fail to answer correctly this is also very helpful uh, after that and really i suggest to everybody to attend these video tales because always you see something new they remind you things and uh, while you are on board you are always uh, giving attention on some things uh, which is really really important uh, once you have completed a wall section you may wish to take a section test to confirm your understanding of the unit studied section tests can be accessed from the test icon on the main menu and they contain questions for the units appropriate to your rank your score will be displayed in the section test screen and you can also print a test certificate that is awesome as I know also on board we keep such kind of certificates we print them also we have a, a locker where we keep them and they're always available uh, for the inspection that with this case we show to inspector that always we are uh, study and familiar with the procedures so let's go to next reference section the reference section suggests other useful sources of information such as relevant videos and helpful websites there is also a list of documents and reference books which should be available for reference as required navigating with the course after logging in the program will go to this introduction for here you can view the course module menu or access the tests the reference section or glossary you can return to the main menu for anywhere in the program you will also be able to select the, your record book or the task based summary as what your rank is required to know and view the related uh, units so let's move on uh, our record book here so let's check the record book once you have logged in with your rank the program will set up a personal record book that will track your progress through the course uh, showing the units completed this record book can be printed off okay we know that already we can export also okay we will move on and after that we have this kind of beautiful certification so i will go to introduction here already okay we have read all that i will go to menu so i will proceed uh, to the module one fundamental okay there is a lot of things here knowledge and understanding so uh, let's see uh, until when we can complete okay there is a lot of uh, items inside as you can see and 
let's start fundamental knowledge and understanding physics and chemistry change of state latent heat the carriage of liquefied cargoes requires an understanding of what happens when fluids change state or phase that is cool down and become solids or heat up and become gases let's consider the example of water ice the solid form of water exists from a temperature of absolute zero minus 273 degrees celsius if we start to add heat we can use a thermometer to measure the rise in temperature this heat can be measured or sensed so is defined as sensible heat but at zero degrees celsius although the rate of heating remains constant the temperature stops rising this is because the energy being put into the ice is being used to break up the bonds between the ice molecules and form the more loosely bonded liquid we call water because this heat input cannot be sensed it is called the latent heat and because the ice is melting it is called the latent heat of fusion so as you can see it's really really nice uh, the explanations here uh, all the text that we can see here it explains completely and everything it's all understandable so here from down below below the zero as you can see from absolute zero minus 273 as we know uh, in this temperature nothing is moving all the atoms and uh, all these molecules will be stuck and there is not any movement uh, complete so from the phase from one phase to the other phase as we uh, give heat we change uh, to another form of water next and other will be the steam and it's called superheating so as you can see also the kilojoules per kilo from ice to water is less than uh, to make a water 100 degrees to the steam which is 2260 kilojoule per kilo so we have a very very nice explanation and really i like uh, to stay and check what is the next uh, phase so let's start on as the water is heated the movement of the water molecules steadily increases the temperature rises and so we have more sensible heat at 100 degrees celsius the molecules start to fly off into the space above the liquid surface and the water boils for the molecules to move into the gas phase the interaction between the liquid molecules has to be overcome and this requires more latent heat energy the latent heat of vaporization once all the water has been converted into steam then this itself can be heated further it becomes a superheated gas when the gas is in equilibrium with the liquid we call the gas saturated very nice and where we have this example of latin heat fusion where we can see it in reality in our uh, engine room we can see it surely in our exhaust gas boiler where the water is entered in the same temperature of the in the outlet and i can say that the inlet uh, the outlet is much much less uh, about two degrees than the inlet so all that heat that we give from our exhaust gases to the water which is inside in the drum of exhaust uh, gas boiler it all all this heat will drive to the latin so inside we have this latin heat vaporization effect and after that the steam will be generated so let's move on to our number three page and see what information we will get heat and energy transfer so to change the state of a substance from solid to liquid or from liquid to gas the latent heat has to be supplied Conversely, to change the state from gas to liquid or liquid to solid, the
the latent heat has to be extracted. This process of heat or energy transfer is the basis of the LNG shipping industry. Liquefied natural gas, LNG, is formed by cooling dry natural gas to approximately minus 162 degrees Celsius, at which temperature it condenses into a liquid. For more information on the origins of natural gas, click on the document icon. So let's see the document icon, what we have here. Okay, as you can see, there is a lot of information here, but we are really, really interested to read it. Natural gas is a combustible gaseous mixture with simple hydrocarbon compounds found in deep underground reservoirs of porous rocks and formed in a similar manner to oil and coal. The first discoveries of natural gas were made in Iran thousands of years ago, ignited by lightning. This gas uh, seeps provided the fuel for eternal fires of the fire worshipping religion of the ancient Persians. In about 500 BC, the Chinese discovered the potential to use these fires to their advantage, advantage. With crude pipelines formed out of bamboo shots, the gas was used to boil seawater, separating the salt from the water and therefore making the water drinkable. Thermogenic natural gas. In the Carboniferous period, Part of Paleozoic era, about 360 to 800, uh, 286 million years ago, Earth saw that is generally believed to be the opening of life. The Paleozoic era initially saw multi-celled animals undergo a dramatic explosion in their primary divisions, filum. The end of era also saw a largest mass extinction in history when approximately 90% of all marine animal species were eliminated. In between these times, animals, fungi and plants alike colonized the earth and insects took to the air. As the, these plants and animals contained organic material, died, they were compressed by sediments and mud. Over time, uh, as more plants and animals died, they were covered by more and more mud, sediments and debris. The mud sediments and debris started to exert more and more pressure and found a consequ uh, consequential compression. This compression, combined with high temperatures, as we know also from the books from the school, found deep underneath the earth, broke down the carbon's bones in the organic uh, matter. As one gets deeper and deeper under the earth's crust, the temperature gets higher and higher. At low temperatures, shallower deposits, more oil is produced relative to natural gas. At higher temperatures, however, more natural gas is created as opposed to oil, which is why Natural gas is usually associated with oil in deposits that are 1 to 2 miles below the earth's crust, deep deposits. Very far underground usually contain primary natural gas and in many cases pure methane. Biogenic natural gas. Natural gas can also be formed by transformation of organic matter by microorganisms, formation of methane and this manner usually takes place close to the surface of Earth. And the methane produced is usually lost into the atmosphere. In certain circumstances, however, this methane can be trapped underground and there is therefore uh, recoverable as natural gas. An example of biogenic methane is landfill gas. Waste containing landfills produce a relatively large amount of natural gas from the decomposition of waste materials that they contain. Abiogenic natural gas. Deep under the earth crust, hydrogenic 
rich gases and hydro, uh, carbon molecules exist. As these gases gradually rise towards the surface of Earth, they may interact with minerals that also exist underground. In the absence of oxygen, this interaction may result in reaction formation, formating elements and compounds that are found in the atmosphere, including nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, argon, and water. If these gases are under very high pressure as they move towards the surface of the Earth, they are likely to form methane deposits similar to thermogenic methane. So we have also some information about uh, natural gas underground. So we have a description how these gases is being formulated. Although, as we have seen, there are several ways that methane and therefore natural gas can be formed. It is usually found underneath the surface of the earth. The natural gas has a low, low density. As a result, once formed, it will be mitigated towards the surface of the earth through loose, shell-type rock and other material. Most of the methane will simply rise to the surface or dissipate into formations that trap the gas under the ground. These formations are made up of layers of porous sedimentary rock into which the natural gas moves. In the type, in the type, uh, one moment, in the same manner in which water will be soaked up by a sponge. If these sponge type sedimentary layers have harder, imperable rocks above and to the sides, then the natural gas becomes trapped in what is known as a reservoir. There are a number of different types of these formations, but the most common known as an anticline is created when the impermeable sediment rocks forms a dome shape like an umbrella that catches all of the natural gas that rising to the surface. There are a number of ways, ways the traps may be formed. The, for instance, falls are a common location for oil and natural gas deposits to exit. A fall occurs when the normal sedimentary uh, layers fragment uh, fragment ah, vertically so that the impermeable rock shifts down to trap the natural gas in the more permeable limestone and sandstone layers. Essentially, the geological formation which layers imperably rock over more porous oil and gas rich sediment has the potential to form a reservoir. With natural gas trapped under the earth in the this fashion, it can be covered by drilling a hole through the imperable rock. Gas in these reservoirs is typically under pressure, allowing it to escape from the reservoir on its own. Natural gas is a combustible gaseous mixture of simple hydrocarbon compounds, principally methane. methane. Uh, however, there are other gases present as shown in the table. In this form, it is known as wet gases. In its commercial form, natural gas has delivered to the consumer has been treated to remove the other components leaving almost pure methane dry gas. Methane is combustible and the reaction being extremely exothermic. It is also cleanest fossil or fuel and when burned gives off carbon dioxide and water. So let's see here methane composition uh, we see the composition of natural gas mostly is methane and propane carbon dioxide oxygen nitrogen hydrogen sulfate and some rare gases so in its normal state methane is colorless odorless gas as uh, shown it's it consists of one carbon atom 
and four hydrocarbon items. Yes, one carbon uh, atom and four hydrocarbons. So methane is symbolized with chemical type uh, CH4. So uh, I believe this video will make it a little bit uh, smaller, so it will be easy to uh, check the courses uh, and follow, because if we make it really, really long, it will be uh, really, really difficult to follow. That is true. So we'll make them about 25 minutes and we will continue next with our uh, next session where we'll complete uh, most of the things but we will see we will read also together so we will have a better understanding uh, of the modules and then we will take the test that is a normal procedure we will not uh, cheat we will read all the sections and we will discuss also uh, what we see what we tell and also uh, i like you to leave some comments what you are thinking about if we make such training this kind of training will not only for lng it is also for the tankers it's really really uh, important information and for general knowledge if you are interested in such kind of videos so see you in the next video uh, check also uh, the previous lists and the videos and don't forget to subscribe and to press the bell button so you will be uh, always informed about uh, what is going on in, on the channel thank you my dear friends and see you in the next video bye bye